welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today we're going to be doing another one of my highly requested and very popular video series, great unknown, hidden, and rare 4K Ultra HD releases from all over the world. In this video series, I cover a ton of these rare and unknown releases that are all over the world, that are of some really enjoyable movies that are really cool titles to own on 4K Ultra HD. Now, if you haven't checked out any of my previous videos in this video series, as I said, it's been highly requested. It's been a very popular video series. In this, I cover tons of things that are never talked about, never reviewed, and there's something that, there's a lot of unknown releases that come out constantly every month. And that's what I do in this video series. I get them in, I test each and every one of them, I share all the testing data and I review them and let you know what ones of these you wanna add, what ones of these you'll wanna skip. And some of these are ones of movies that are really great classic movies, modern movies, action, adventure, mystery, westerns. Really, it's all over the board. So you never know what you're gonna find in this video series. So if you wanna check out any of those previous ones, this one is number four in this video series. And I'm gonna continue doing these as long as all of you enjoy these and support these videos, I'll keep releasing them. Just remember they do take me a ton of money to create these videos. None of these titles in this video were sent to me for review. I have to go out and order them and import them, pay all the fees and get them in and test them. Just as most of you know on my last video, some of them didn't work. And so I lose the money on those and that's just how it goes. So that's why if you enjoy this video series, it's very important to support this video series. And you can always do that through my VIP Collectors Club. That is the absolute best way to support the creation of videos like this. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to join my Collectors VIP Club. Now, every single title I cover in this Hidden and Unknown video series and every video I always release here on my YouTube channel, I put all of the links directly in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. All of these hidden and unknown titles are very hard to find and locate. I put all of the exclusive links directly down below. And a lot of these titles are exclusive. So those links I post down there below are the only links to usually order them from. So any of these you're wanting to buy or add to your collection, just go down to the description section or the pinned comment in the comment section below. And I've done all the work for you and listed them all down there below. First up, we have Shotgun Wedding, the brand new 4K Ultra HD release of the 2023 movie with Jennifer Lopez and Josh Duhamel in it, and it's a very funny action comedy, romantic comedy adventure. And I will say it's one of those films that harkens back to a lot of the like Jennifer Lopez comedies and things we got in the 90s and 2000s. And I really enjoyed it. And it's one of those films that if you watch with your wife or girlfriend or vice versa, it's a fun time. I was actually really surprised at how funny it really was and kept things moving all along. Now you can't take the film too serious, just like with a lot of Jennifer Lopez's movies previously. They're just meant to be lighthearted. They're not serious. They're not 100% realistic. Things happen that are unrealistic in it. Some of it's tongue in cheek and some of it's kind of goofy humor. But man, is it a fun time to sit back and watch? And my wife and I were talking about it. We've missed watching movies like this. Well, in the US and most of the territories around the entire world, this was not released except on streaming services. Well, I'm happy to announce this was released in an official 4K Ultra HD release. And I've got some exciting information about this release. After I ordered this, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out visual and audio quality wise. And I can tell you this is one of those that really blew me away. It comes as a native 4K 2160p and it has Dolby Vision and HDR10. And to add a little extra cherry on top of all of that, it has Dolby Atmos in English. And I will tell you the Dolby Atmos mix on this was a very active and very strong Dolby Atmos mix. It moved things around great, it had great range, and it was a really enjoyable addition that I did not expect to get on this 4K Ultra HD release. And I can tell you this native 4K was created from the original 4K Digital Intermediate. And it has a lot of depth and detail to it. There was no black crush, but it has some really great inky blacks and brilliant whites that shine through greatly 
on this film. It's done mostly in obviously bright exteriors, bright green foliage from the forest and things like that. And it really is nicely done through those jungles that they're running through and you see all the green foliage in the jungles. It looks really great in Dolby Vision. Now I will say the HDR10 looked good, but not nearly as good as the Dolby Vision. The Dolby Vision had an easy 10% better visual color experience over the HDR10. And it was a really amazing experience watching this, that it was one of those image qualities that was really a wow experience. Add that to the Dolby Atmos mix on this, and this was one of those releases that did surprise me. Now, I dived into this and did my exclusive testing on the bit rates. I can tell you this had an extremely strong and extremely high rough average bit rate of 90 megabits per second. Again, another one of those wow experiences for this disc. I really didn't expect all of what I got out of this. And each thing that I went through just was one of those things I was like, whoa. And the bitrate was nicely stable through all of it, that there was never any massive dips or drops in it. It stayed up around that very nicely and very high. It really looks superb. Now, showing you what you get in this, it does say 4K Ultra HD plus your Blu-ray, Shotgun Wedding, all in English on here. It has both the actors' names. The only thing that's not is this logo, which is the rating for the movie in the country. Other than that, it's all in English on the front here anyways. Side, it says Shotgun Wedding in English, Lionsgate. Then on the back, it talks about the film. It does have interviews, making a featurette, deleted scenes, B-rolls. Now I will tell you on this film, it is a film about basically Josh Schimmel and Jennifer Lopez are getting married on an island. And it's about that they have their family there. They've flown in everybody. She has basically an ex-boyfriend show up that her dad likes, that works for her dad. Her dad's extremely rich. He's a millionaire. All of a sudden then the next day when they're going to get married, in between the drama of them like having, you know, kind of blues, deciding if they want to get married at the last minute, basically pirates show up on the island and basically cause havoc by going after those that have money. And it's how the two of them basically are outside of the hotel at the time and then them trying to survive and rescue the folks that are actually their basically family there that are held captive by their pirates. It's a fun time. It's got funny performances throughout it. It really does harken back to those, you know, 2000s and 90s movies that were just lighthearted romantic comedies. It does have some violence in it and it does have some strong language, but that's about it. It's pretty tame otherwise and it's a fun time overall. Just don't go into it expecting it to be a perfect movie. You got to sit back, have some popcorn, have a drink and have a fun time. You'll really enjoy this film and this looks absolutely outstanding. Now, showing what you're getting here, you get your two discs, your Blu-ray and your 4K. Your Blu-ray is sadly region B locked, so you will need a region free player to play that. But to be honest with you, what you're gonna be watching is your 4K disc, because this is where your Dolby Atmos, your Dolby Vision, this is 100% region free. I tested it, there's no issues playing it on any player, anywhere worldwide. So the 4K is where it's at, and this is where you get such an outstanding picture and sound experience. So for Shotgun Wedding on 4K Ultra HD, this comes highly recommended that you buy and add this to your collection. This is one of those must buy releases you don't wanna miss out on owning. This is such a cool release with what they added into it and didn't cut corners with the bitrate, the Dolby Atmos, the Dolby Vision. And that's why I said, this is the only release of this film anywhere worldwide on 4K Ultra HD. And it is an exclusive release through that link I've posted down below. As I said at the beginning of this video and through the other videos in this series, a lot of these releases are Amazon exclusive releases with those Amazon exclusive links I post down below. You can't get it anywhere else. You can't order it anywhere else. It's an Amazon exclusive release. I posted that direct link down there below. So if you wanna buy this or add this to your collection, that link is right down there below. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Just like with this video series, it's exclusive to my YouTube channel. You never want to miss out on any of this exclusive content that you're only ever going to find to watch here on my channel. So make sure to go down there. Give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Next up, we have a Western film with Nicolas Cage from 2022. This is The Old Way. Now this is a limited edition 4K Ultra HD release. It has a reversible cover artwork on it that I'll get to here in a minute, but on this release, 
It actually says limited edition on the other side of the slipcover, which has the German writing on it. But this release is the only release of this film anywhere worldwide on 4K Ultra HD. I can tell you that on this, it does have HDR10. It looks really nice and is a nice improvement over the US Blu-ray release we got of the old way. I will tell you I'm a sucker for Western films. I'm a sucker for Nicolas Cage films. Now I will say this is more in the range of a B Western film. And what I mean by that is, is go into this with the understanding of it had a more limited budget. It's based around Nicolas Cage basically carrying the film. And he does a good job as a somber, like kind of like what I'd say a hired gun is what he was. And then he basically retires, has a family, has a daughter and a wife. And then basically some things happen that set into motion later on in his life that get him to basically pick up his gun again. I enjoyed the kind of road trippy kind of story behind it. And I enjoyed the acting of Nicolas Cage in this in a much more serious role than some of the roles he's done recently. I do think it's an enjoyable Western and I'm really glad to have it in my collection. I'll say as far as Westerns go though, don't go into this expecting it to be Tombstone, but enjoy it for what it is. If you like Nicolas Cage, this is one of those Western films that you need to see because Nicolas Cage is pretty darn good in this. Now, this does come with English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix on it. And it's the same mix we got on the US Blu-ray release. So the audio sounds the same. There wasn't any differences between that. The big differences are the visual difference. The depth and detail in this is drastically improved over the US Blu-ray release, as well as that HDR10 implementation really shine through nicely, especially a lot of the times like when they're sitting by the campfire at night or you see the blazing sun and the green grass and the horses and everything else, the depth shines through nicely with that HDR10, adding the much more variances in the colors, really enhanced it and made it an enjoyable experience that for me, because I'm a sucker for Westerns, even the upgrade in visual was worth it for me. Now, showing you what you get in this, now you do get a reversible cover on this, and I put the English one on here. It says the old way with Nicolas Cage, again in English on the side, and then on the back it talks about the film. And I will say the film's pretty fast paced. It's about 95 minutes, so it doesn't linger on anything too long. So it does lend to why the film has a very nice pace, keeping things moving with some good action in it as well. Now, showing what you get inside here, your Blu-ray is region B locked. 4K is 100% region free. 4K is where it's at anyways, because the Blu-ray in the US, you're getting the same type of transfer on the Blu-ray, which like I said, you're watching it for the 4K anyways. And this is where the nice transfer is on 4K Ultra HD. So, but that's 100% region free. You'll have no issues playing it anywhere worldwide. Now showing you the reversible cover artwork, it does say same thing up here, but down here it says limited edition and it has the logo rated 16. And then it says the HDR on it. And as far as the old way goes, I dived into it with the rough average bit rate. For this one, you get a strong and healthy 62 megabits per second. So it was nice. I'm not gonna say it's the best one I've ever seen bit rate wise, but it lends to why it has such a nice image throughout it. It's just a nice presentation overall, and it's not too expensive of a release either. A lot of these basically imports or a lot of these from other countries can sometimes get very expensive. In this case, this one was kind of more a budget 4K release. Now it is a limited edition. I'm gonna point that out again, because this is limited to a certain number. Once they sell out on Amazon, they're gone. They're not printing anymore. And I've talked about these before on this YouTube channel. I've done a lot of these in these previous video series here that I talk about these limited edition sets that come out. Once they sell out of them, they're just gone. You can't find them anywhere. You can't buy them anymore. This is one of those. So that link I posted down there below is another Amazon exclusive link. It's the only place to buy it. Once it's gone from that link down there below, it's just sold out. So don't wait too long. If you're a Nicolas Cage fan, a Western fan, this comes recommended. It was an enjoyable film. Just go into it understanding it's more of a B Western. It's not gonna be, like I said, something they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on the budget. It's just enjoyable and a fun time with a good story. And I did enjoy Nicolas Cage's performance. Now, any of these titles you're excited about that you didn't know about, that you love in this video series I create, make sure to start that conversation in the comments section below. I always love hearing from all of you and hearing the conversation about what you didn't know about, what you're thrilled I did in this video series. So make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below and let me know what of these titles 
that you're excited to buy. Next up we have one of my favorite kind of guilty pleasure Terminator films. This is Terminator Salvation and this is from 2009 when this film originally came out. Now this 4K Ultra HD release has never been released in the US and I originally thought when this was originally released on 4K that it was eventually going to make its way to the US. It never did and it never has been released. And this was many, many years ago that I got this 4K release. And it is one of those films I really, really enjoyed Christian Bale's performance in. I think he did a good job. It was around the time of when he was doing the Batman films. And I thought he did a good job in this and I enjoyed the Terminator story more end of the world taking place after the end of the world and fighting to survive and going into that sense of the Terminator world. I really enjoyed this film. Sam Worthington was great in it. Now this 4K release is an upscaled 4K from the 2K DI. Now I can tell you for an upscaled 4K, it does look very nice. As far as compared to the Blu-ray release, I originally owned the Blu-ray release and when I got this, I was comparing them side by side and just recently I watched it again. So that way I kind of updated my thoughts on it. And it has very nice details in it that are an uptick in detail over the Blu-ray. And I will say the biggest thing that helps the image on this by far is the HDR10. This film, if you remember, has a lot of darker scenes where like the robots are coming out of the dark and it's filmed with more of a darker aesthetic overall, especially for the imagery of kind of the end of the world apocalypse of where this film is set. The HDR10 drastically helped that, especially with the brights of the lights to the darks. It really helped, especially those bright, like almost like washed out daytime scenes really had much more depth and easier to see because the darker scenes of that stood out from the lighter scenes better than what they ever did on the Blu-ray release, which really enhanced the way this looked. So in that sense, that's why this does look drastically better than the Blu-ray did, but it still is an upscale 4K. So it's not gonna look as depth and detail as what you would have with a lot of the native 4Ks, but from comparing them side by side between the Blu-ray and this 4K, it is a nice enough upgrade in details and depth and colors to the image that it was worth it for me because it doesn't cost too much for this 4K either. And to be honest with you, I don't see this ever coming out in the US as a standard US 4K release, simply because of the rights. But this 4K is an official release from Sony and it does look pretty nice. Now it does have English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. It does have English subtitles on it as well. I'll show you what you get on it here. It has the cover artwork, it does say M for violence. Side, it talks about Terminator Salvation. It has Sony's logo on it. it talks about it on the back here. It's from Columbia Pictures and Sony. Now it is region free. It does say ABC on here. The whole set is region free. It comes with a Blu-ray on here and your 4K disc. Both discs in this set were 100% region free. Showing you what you get inside here. You get your 4K Ultra HD disc with Sony's logos on it. And then you get your Blu-ray disc here. Now, touching on the rough average bitrate, this had a very consistent rough average bitrate of 53 megabits per second. It really didn't have any big dips or any really big highs. It just was consistent throughout it. And that was a decent rough average bitrate. It looks nice, just don't expect it to knock your socks off as the best 4K you've ever seen. If you're looking for an upgrade over the Blu-ray, this is the best that exists for this film. And because the price, like I said, isn't too horrible on it anyways, to me it was nice to upgrade it onto this 4K release. Now I will touch on one little thing. It is not including the extra like minute and a half of basically what they call the unrated basically scene they added back in. And it wasn't in theaters that way. This is the theatrical cut, and that's the cut I preferred. But there was a scene which had a brief scene of basically nudity in it, which was in basically the Blu-ray, which you can watch on the Blu-ray, but it's the unrated scene that was added in. This is the theatrical cut on the 4K Ultra HD disc. But I'll just point that out. This is the theatrical cut on 4K, and that's the only way it's ever been released on 4K Ultra HD. And like I said, for me, it was a worthwhile upgrade and I did enjoy this. Next up we have Howard's End. Now I originally reviewed this quite a while back and that video is available right now here on my YouTube channel if you wanna go check that out. But I dived into this, told you all about the review score and everything about my thoughts of the film. I enjoy James Ivory's films. I think they're more of a setback to kind of like if you like Downton Abbey, you're gonna love all of James Ivory's films. Well this got a 4K restoration and this is the only release of this film anywhere worldwide on 4K Ultra HD. It is a native 4K 2160p and it does have HDR10 on it and the colors on this look fabulous. 
It really looks good. I enjoy the film overall. If you want to know more about my thoughts about the review and everything into this, make sure to check out the video that's available right now here on my YouTube channel. But this is one of those extremely rare and hidden 4Ks that most people are not even aware was ever released. And this is the only release of it anywhere worldwide. And when I did that review here on my YouTube channel many years back, I actually think that review was maybe three and a half years ago. It's never been released again anywhere worldwide. The link for all of these, including this, I will link directly down below. Those are all exclusive Amazon links to those links down below. So if you're wanting to buy this, if you're a big collector, this is one of those that looks really good on 4K Ultra HD. Now, if you enjoy this video series and all the time and hard work and money I put into testing, analyzing, and creating this video series, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. I mentioned a little earlier on, but it's very, very important. If you buy any of these, to click through those links below, and to support these videos also to join the Collector's VIP Club. Even if you only join at the VIP entry level, that only costs a couple of bucks every month. That goes right back into the creation of these videos. That's the only way I can afford to constantly go out and get these, test these, analyze these, because it's extremely expensive. For this video alone today, for the nine titles I'm covering in this video, I spent over $350 just to get all of these in. It takes a lot of money and then a lot of time and work for me to test and analyze all of these. And if you want me to be able to keep creating videos just like this, you need to support these through the VIP Collectors Club. It's very important. And I wanna say thank you to every one of my VIP Club members. You truly do make a difference. Next up, we have a very enjoyable Liam Neeson film from 2019 called The Ice Road. This is one of those limited edition Steelbook collector sets. And this is the only 4K Ultra HD release of this film anywhere worldwide. The steelbook on this, let me say, is one of those awesome, super shiny with depth in the steelbook because they're using like the shiny steelbook behind it with a high gloss finish on it. Love the steelbook. If you haven't seen the film, it has Lawrence Fishburne in it. It has Liam Neeson in it. It's one of those films basically about a group of truckers that are sent on a rescue mission to a mine and they have to drive across the frozen ice of basically the ocean. And they're in these big semi trucks, these big rigs, driving across the ocean, which is actually, it's a true story, not this film, but actually truckers do what they're doing in this movie, which is what it's based on is, is the idea of what those truckers do risking their lives, driving across actually frozen lakes and oceans with these semi trucks. And I'll tell you that alone, if that doesn't pique your interest in a film, the film is really enjoyable. It's a fun ride. There's a lot of twists and turns in it. I was actually surprised at how much my wife and I were interested in it because it's really cool seeing what these truckers in real life actually do. They risk their lives hauling things, driving across the ocean that's frozen. And it says at the beginning of the film with the whole intro kind of explaining about it, but basically it's less than 30 inches thick of ice that they're driving on. That's kind of like those, wow, like I wouldn't do that. That seems hugely dangerous and it is. People lose their lives all the time, but that's what this film is about. It's a fun ride. I really enjoyed it. This 4K release, when it says it looks brilliant, it does look pretty dang good on this 4K release, blowing away the Blu-ray release from the US. Again, this is an exclusive Amazon release through that link below. I'm gonna say that a lot because a lot of these I'm finding out are Amazon exclusive releases. But this is one of those that has a really cool like J card on it that flips off. Has a picture of the trucks on here with the ice splitting in the ocean. Side here it says the ice roads all in English. Then on the back you have your J card here which talks about the film but when you take it off you have Liam Neeson's character running through the snow. Now I will say on mine it did come damaged here in case you don't see that in the picture. Uh, mine got crushed, it was shipped in a separate package and that just sometimes happens. But they do replace it if something were to arrive damaged. But I have not gotten my other one, so that's why I'm doing the review with this one. Now, showing what you get in this, you do get your 4K Ultra HD, which is 100% region free, and your Blu-ray disc is 100% region free as well. You can access all the special features, you'll have no issues playing either of the discs. Now, on the 4K disc, it is a native 4K 2160p, and it has HDR10 on it. And I will say the HDR10, because of its snow and ice and water and things like that, it looked very nice on this. 
I will say there was some slight digital noise present in it, but it wasn't horrible and it was very, very brief. Most people, 99% of people probably won't ever notice it, but I noticed it just a little bit towards the bottom corners of the screen, especially when like the ice was breaking and things like that. You can kind of see it a little bit and then maybe that's due to the special effects and things like that. But otherwise the native 4K image had a lot of depth and gorgeous details throughout it. Pores and skin and hair and everything are very visible and present. The details looked outstanding and blew away the previous Blu-ray release that was released in the US. You won't ever watch that in comparison to this with how much detail for this native 4K is present. It really is a nice and drastic upgrade. Now, talking about the audio on this, you do get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix. Very active, nice and strong audio mix. It had some good LFE on it, especially with the truckers, the vroom, vroom, things like that. Sounded good on it overall. And I will say there were some actually scenes that kind of make you jump and they did come across pretty darn nice with the audio mix on this. Now, one special thing on this release is it does come with English subtitles as well. So if you need the English subtitles, they're on the 4K Ultra HD release as well. So the intro, when it's going through the intro, you have your English subtitles on, all of the intros in English, so that way you don't have to worry about missing out on that either. And then it plays fully in English. So it really is a nice limited edition set in this Steelbook set. And I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed this film for it not being so much a heavy action Liam Neeson film. It's more or less a story with a mystery. Yes, there's some adventure elements in it, but it was nice to see Liam Neeson in a little bit different of a role than his action roles. Like I talked about in the last basically Great Unknown Review series. On that last video, I talked about Liam Neeson, some of his action films on 4K. This is one that's more an adventure, kind of drama, mystery film. And he does a very good job in this. Lawrence Fishburne was very enjoyable in this as well. Now, getting to the rough average bit rate here. This had a very strong 69 megabits per second very nice throughout the entire thing and added to why the image looks so stable and nicely filmic throughout because of that native 4K presentation. You'll really enjoy this one. I love the Steelbook side of it and adding this to my collection is one of those extremely limited edition Steelbook releases. This is the only way to own this film on 4K. So don't wait too long if you decide you want to buy this one either. Next up we have Murder in Yellowstone City. This is one of the bigger budget western films from 2022. I will say though it's highly underrated and a lot of people never even saw it. It kind of came out at a bad time when a lot of people weren't watching a lot of films, it didn't get a lot of publicity, but I will say it has a massive and very impressive supporting cast. It is literally Thomas Jane, Nat Wolf, Richard Dreyfus, Anna Camp. I mean, I could go on and on with the amount of actors that are in this. And it does surprise me because a lot of them are kind of older now in this film, but they still hold their own and the film is enjoyable. Though I will warn you right off the bat, it does have very strong violence and it does have very strong sexual content. I will warn you there is some nudity in it. It's more or less in the lines of like Deadwood's content. If you ever watch a Deadwood, the Western TV series, uh, it's got more or less that type of content in it. It's more of a gritty Western in the series, kind of fitting in the lines of Deadwood. And it takes place basically that an outsider rides into town around the same time that a gentleman strikes gold, comes into town, goes to meet with the harlots, and basically then something happens, which murder in Yellowstone City, you can guess it, it happens in the first few seconds, and it's a mystery of who killed who, why it happened, what's going on, and solving the mystery behind it, which is done very well, there was some surprises in it that actually did surprise me. You know, you kind of think at my age with all the films I've seen, not much can surprise you. Well, in this film it did. It's well acted, it's well written, though it does have some graphic violence in it, so keep that in mind. Um, and it is one of those westerns that's more gritty. Though for me there was some questionable content in it that I thought could have been done without. But for the movie itself it was an enjoyable western in that sense. Now there's some very interesting things about this 4K release. It's another limited edition, exclusive, only available in one country around the world. And this is a native 4K 2160p. This has some pretty interesting specs on it though. It comes with HDR10 and HDR10+. Plus. The HDR10 Plus on this was a real winner. The brighter whites, the inkier blacks, all of it looked better with that HDR10 Plus. And I was surprised because 
I don't see HDR10 Plus used as much these days. I know that it's because I have to pay for the metadata and to use obviously that form of it, but I don't see it as often as I see Dolby Vision. It looked great on this. The depth and detail on this image, because it's a native 4K for a Western, really surprised me what they were able to draw out of this. I mean, you can see dirt on people's faces, even like the little pebbles of dirt. That's how detailed the image was. No black crush was present on this. I didn't have any issues other than I will say there was some slight blocking when they were going through the shootout and there's a lot of smoke in the air. I noticed in the top left hand corner every once in a while there would be some slight blocking. That was the only time I ever saw it and then it was gone. It wasn't through the rest of the film. It was just through one of the shootouts later on in the town just briefly and then the rest of them when there was smoke there was no blocking at all and i don't know if that's just some issues they had when they did the transfer but that was the only thing i encountered image quality wise that was issues with it otherwise the image had nice depth and detail the colors looked great on it now talking about audio wise you do get english dts hd master audio 5.1 very nice and active audio mix you can hear everything very easily very clearly throughout it the clip cropping of the boots the shootouts, I will say Thomas Jane in this was my favorite part of the film. But otherwise I'll show you here. It does have two different reversible covers on it. This one's the one I put on it. It has without those big like green logos on it. it. Says the name of the movie on the side here. Then it talks about it on the back here. Same thing that I was explaining about the specs on it. Now getting inside here, it is a 4K only release. Again, this is a more budget 4K release for one of these that you import and get. It's nice that they're releasing a lot of these budget 4Ks now because this doesn't cost too much. Your 4K disc in here is 100% region free. Everything is contained on your 4K disc. So you don't have to worry about having a Blu-ray that you're paying even a couple extra bucks for. I'm okay with that because this is what I'm wanting is the 4K release. Showing you the other cover artwork on here. It does have the logo 16. It says HDR and HDR 10 plus. I do like the HDR 10 plus logo. It's just, you don't see it very often. Now talking about the rough average bitrate on this, this is where there was another big surprise for this release. This had an extremely strong and extremely high rough average bitrate of 78 megabits per second. It was one of those surprising ones that I was very surprised with how high the rough average bitrate was, which is why, again, it has such a nicely stable and filmic image throughout with so much depth and detail that for a film that really wasn't a huge release that a lot of people saw, like I said, it was kind of underrated. A lot of people just didn't see it or give it a chance. Man, they released this in one of those really superb 4K Ultra HD releases that I was very happy to add to my Western collection. Though keep in mind again, there is strong content in this. So don't go into this thinking this is like the old way with Nicolas Cage, which is more or less a more lighthearted B Western movie. This one's way more serious and has way more violence, sexual content, and everything else in it. But depending on, you can skip those scenes if you want to skip them, whatever the case is, a budget 4K release that did surprise me how nice the detail and quality of the image was. Next up we have Farmageddon, which is a stop motion animated film, and Early Man, which is another stop motion animated film by Ardman Entertainment. And if you know anything about stop motion films, I love them. They are really cool animated style and I love when they're done correctly. Ardman Animation does a great job. And these are two 4K Ultra HD releases that I was very excited to get in because these are the only 4K releases of these films anywhere worldwide. If most of you kind of follow Shout Factory in the US, recently they released a Blu-ray release of Farmageddon, which is the Shaun of the Sheep movie. And it is one of those films, both of these, they are hysterical comedies. Don't write them off as kids' movies. A lot of people write off things that are animated films and say, well, I'm not into animated films. These are funny films that there is humor in these that only adults will get. That is really funny. I was surprised when I was sitting watching them how hilarious they actually are. So these are films that I enjoyed and I will tell you both of these really surprised me, the quality that I was really taken back saying, whoa, I did not expect that on these 4K releases. Now, both of these are native 4K 2160p releases and they both have Dolby Vision and HDR10 on them. The Dolby Vision and HDR10 on both of them were very nice. Though I will say the Dolby Vision on both of these was the clear winner. It was anywhere between five to 8% better looking between these 
than the HDR10. So if you have Dolby Vision, it's the clear winner. The HDR10 is still very nice, but Dolby Vision is really, you can notice the difference when you put it in and you go between them, that Dolby Vision is surprising on both of these. Now, here comes the big shocker. Both of these releases have Dolby Atmos on them. And I can tell you the Dolby Atmos on them was near reference quality on them. They were that enjoyable and that good sounding. There are so many times they use the Dolby Atmos on both of these to great effect. The height channels get used amazingly well. I was very surprised at how good of a job they did with the Dolby Atmos mixes on both of these. As some great uses of Dolby Atmos, the ship's going ahead and like there's a scene at the beginning where they throw a frisbee and you hear it going across with the height channels. Man, did it sound great. On this one, obviously there's things like the soccer matches and spears being thrown and cannonballs and all different things that both of these had near reference quality Dolby Atmos mixes that really surprised me how good these sounded that they're not being talked about. And it's simply because these were limited releases only in one country. Nowhere else around the world did they get this. The UK was the only one that got these releases and that was it. They had plans actually to release these on 4K originally in Australia and in the US and they got scrapped and canceled. My understanding is, is these did not sell well enough in the UK on 4K for Shout Factory or any of the other studios that were working on them to release them on 4K again. These are the only releases of these anywhere worldwide and they are pretty dang gorgeous looking. Now I'm going to talk about Shaun of the Sheep here. It does get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and 2.0 mix on Shaun of the Sheep Farmageddon. Now I can tell you as far as this goes, it does come with a slip cover. I don't know if they're still available with slip covers, but they were available originally. And it does say Farmageddon on the side. Obviously it's an English release, so it's all in English on here. Talks about the Dolby Vision, the Dolby Atmos on it. Now show me what you get inside here. You do get your 4K Ultra HD disc. That's 100% region free. No issues playing this whatsoever. You get some advertisements and a booklet here. Then you get your Blu-ray disc. Now your Blu-ray disc in here is region B locked. So you won't be able to play your Blu-ray disc, but you'll be able to play your 4K in the US with no issues whatsoever. You will need a region free player unless you live in the UK or region B to play your Blu-ray disc. The 4K is where it's at though. It is an absolutely gorgeous image presentation. I cannot explain to you how gorgeous this 4K Ultra HD release is. Now, if you haven't checked out, I've done a lot of these stop motion reviews from like Shout Factory. And if you haven't checked out those reviews like Coraline, Paranorman, Box Trolls, Kubo and the Two Strings, those are reference quality 4K Ultra HD releases. The reason I'm pointing those out is if you like animated films like those, you've got to do it justice and check out these films. These films are more in the comedic stylings. They're not exactly like the more serious kind of films. I take those as animated films. These definitely have much more humor in them. They're done in a much more light comedic sense with a lot of humor. That's a lot of adult humor that a lot of kids won't get without getting dirty, but it's just a lot of good humor in a very gorgeous and enjoyable film. And I will say, this one for its rough average bitrate had a very strong 67 megabits per second rough average bitrate, which lends to why the image is so impressive. Because of the Dolby Atmos and the Dolby Vision on this, this comes extremely highly recommended as a must buy. If you have not bought this and added this to your collection, you need to do yourself a favor, get yourself this as a treat doesn't cost very much. I'll put that link down there below because this came out so long ago. The price of this is really not too much. It is one of those that is not coming out in any other territory. If you're waiting for these releases, they are not coming. This is the only release of it on 4K Ultra HD and it is highly recommended. You will love the Dolby Atmos on this. It is so much fun and really lend it to why I enjoyed this film so much. Talking about Early Man, continuing on with these animated films here, this came out in 2018. As I referenced, it is a native 4K. There is some differences between Early Man and Farmageddon though. Early Man's Dolby Atmos mix is near reference quality as well, but there's one big massive difference between Early Man and Farmageddon. On Early Man, for its rough average bitrate, it had one of the highest and strongest rough average bitrates I have ever seen at 119 megabits per second. 
with the Dolby Vision, the Dolby Atmos, and the image on this, this is a reference quality 4K Ultra HD release. Not near reference, this is reference quality. This is one of those stunning, and I mean stunning, reference quality releases of a stop motion animated film. The native 4K image in this is just wow. You sit there, just like I was explaining with like Coraline and Paranorman, if you've bought those 4K releases, you're in for the same treat with this release. That is how gorgeous this looks on 4K Ultra HD. The sound and everything lended to why this is a reference quality, highest recommendation I can give for a 4K Ultra HD release, this is it. If you've checked out Coraline, Paranorman, Box Trolls, or Kubo and the Two Strings and you enjoyed those at all, you will enjoy this just as much. That is how gorgeous the image is. It's on par with those reference quality releases. Now, showing you what you get in this, it does come with a slip cover. Side, it says Early Man. All of it's in English, obviously. It comes with a ton of special features on this. So you get all things behind the scenes, making of, audio commentaries, anything you want to know about this film, it's all included in it. Showing you what you get inside here, you have your 4K Ultra HD disc, you get a little pamphlet here, and then obviously you get your Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray is region B locked, your 4K is region free. So if you want a reference quality 4K Ultra HD release to add to your collection, this is it. This is a must buy. Farmageddon is a great release as well. If you're gonna get both of them, you're gonna really enjoy them. Same kind of stylings behind the films, and they are both really good 4K releases, though this one is a reference quality one. Those links I posted straight down there below, ships anywhere worldwide. Don't miss out on these because they're not going to release these anywhere else worldwide. The releases on 4K that were supposed to come out in other countries were canceled by the studio because these didn't sell well enough because they're highly underrated films that a lot of people have not given a chance to and they are hilarious. I really enjoyed them. That you'll be surprised even as an adult, you'll sit back and watch this and say, wow, that was a fun and hilarious film. Next up we have from 88 Films, the limited edition 4K Ultra HD release of Ark of the Sun God from 1984. Now, if you know anything about kind of Italian cinema, this is one of those, I'm not gonna say it's a spoof or knockoff of Indiana Jones series, but it is an 80s Indiana Jones style and a love letter to Raiders of the Lost Ark. There's a lot of things in this that will make you smile because it is really just a Raiders of the Lost Ark love letter. So many things went into this that exude that good 80s, slightly cheesy action adventure goodness that I really can't explain to you how enjoyable the film is if you love 80s content. 80s films have something that touched my heart like no other decade throughout all of film history. I think if I had to pick one decade that I love the most, it would be the 80s, hands down. This film is one of those that is a fun ride that if you like Indiana Jones even a little bit, you'll enjoy this film. It is one of those that it's an adventure series of searching for hidden and lost treasure and the mystery and there's bad guys behind it coming after the guy and the girl and it's really just a fun time. And it's an Italian genre film. And what I mean by that is some of the actors speak in English, some of them speak obviously Italian and basically they dub over the Italian speaking actors with English and that's how the films were released and it's not too noticeable. Yeah, there's some that you can notice it, but it's very enjoyable and well done. And for me, it's one of my favorite Italian genre cinema films that if you're looking to get into some of that type of filmmaking from the 80s and you haven't experienced it yet, I think this is a great entry point. If you like Indiana Jones style, you'll enjoy this film. Everything about it, it just exudes 80s goodness. I just don't know how else to explain it other than that. Music in it, the costumes, the acting, the style, the writing. I really can't say how much I enjoyed the film and it is one of those that I'm glad was released with a brand new 4K restoration. 88 Films went back and scanned the original 35 millimeter camera negatives to do this brand new 4K restoration. It is a native 4K 2160p, and it does have surprisingly Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it. It has very nice film grain throughout it. There are fluctuations and some slight damage present. When I say slight, 
88 Films spent a ton of time on the restoration on this. If you've ever seen this film before, it looked very, very, very poor. Colors and everything were just horrible. It looks surprisingly great on this. Now, I'm not going to say it's reference quality. It's not. You have to remember it was a smaller budget film and it was not stored great. It was not handled great. But what they were able to do for this restoration is just absolutely mind boggling how much work they must have done to make this look the way it does on this 4K release. When they say 4K restoration, 88 Films really meant it for this release. You can see the love and care they put into this that I really, really appreciated because I did not ever think this film would get this much love and care. I can tell you on this limited edition release, it is an extremely limited edition release. It comes in a hard slipcover. It's a thicker like cardboard slipcover. Really like it. It's very shiny and glossy. Side here, it talks about it, the Ark of the Sun God. Back here, it talks about it. And talking about the audio on this, this is another big area where the restoration makes a drastic difference. It has an English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 that was done for this restoration and it sounds the best this film ever has. It has always been extremely poor looking, extremely poor sounding, where you kind of put up with it because you knew it was a lower budget release from the 80s. And I am amazed that it got this good of a sound for a 2.0 mix. You know, I talk about sometimes that 2.0 mixes come out on films that they didn't get a restoration on the audio and it didn't sound amazing. This one actually sounds pretty dang good for a restoration. It's not reference quality, but it's good. And considering how poor this was before, I'm thankful they worked on the audio for this as well. Now, you do get English subtitles on this as well, as well as you also get a 2.0 Italian mono mix on this if you want to listen to it in that. But for me, because a lot of the actors in it do speak English, I listen to it in the English audio mix, and I do enjoy it in that. Um, subtitles, it was nice they included those in English, so that way you have that option if you need them. Now, I will talk about one error on this box set. On here, it lists out the discs, and when you get here where it says the Blu-ray disc, it says it is region B locked. That is incorrect. The entire set is 100% region free. Both your 4K and your Blu-ray disc, you will have no issues watching any of the special features, any behind the scenes, everything is 100% region free on here. They did put all the logos here, but for some reason right there, they must have forgot to change that B to a region free. But it is all region free. I exclusively tested it for all of you. So all of the discs in this set, you can access and watch no problems whatsoever. Now, show me what you get inside here. I love the cover artwork they did matching the front of the case. You get a booklet in here, which talks about the film. I really like this. It has pictures and essays and kind of just goes through talking about the film and showing off things from the film. I do like how it includes little pictures in it, and it is one of those that's very similar to like those Arrow video booklets, which is what I think 88 Films was going for. And I can tell you they use the same print and the same manufacturer that Arrow video uses because it smells identical. As most of you know, I absolutely love that smell. A little weird thing I've got, but if you like that smell, comment below if you're a big fan of that smell of those booklets. Same printer for those. You do get a poster artwork in here, which I'll show you here. It comes with the outside artwork and a poster, and then it comes with the reversible artwork that's on the other side of the artwork of the case as well. So you do get two poster artworks in there, which I do really like. And again, this is printed from the same manufacturer, has to be because it smells identical as well. Now, getting to the rough average bitrate, I dived into this and tested this as well. This had an extremely strong and surprisingly healthy 89 megabits per second. It was shocking how strong it was throughout it. Now, I will say the only thing you will notice on it is it doesn't have inky blacks and brilliant whites because of how the film was stored and the restoration they did. There's only so much they can do to restore that white element without ruining the image itself based on the original 35 millimeter film elements. Because remember, they're trying to keep it to the way it was originally appearing on those 35 millimeter film elements. Because of the budget and what they used for filming those, that is where it does look very good. It just won't be brilliant inky blacks and brilliant whites, but it does look good. Film grain is nicely present. They did not DNR it or take it away at all. You can see it from beginning to the end of this film. If you like 80s films at all, 
I really feel like you should give this a chance. I know a lot of the times you might watch a trailer for it, the trailers look horrible. The quality of them is horrible. And you really can't tell how much you're gonna enjoy those films because the trailers for these type Italian genre films, I just feel like were really poorly made. If you like 80s films, I really think you'll enjoy this one. This is a very limited edition release. And I love everything from the 80s, especially Indiana Jones I absolutely love. So going into this kind of knowing that, you have a great Indiana Jones style adventure. If you haven't seen this film yet, let me know in the comment section below. If you have seen the film, but you didn't know it was restored, comment below. I'm curious how many of you have really ever seen Ark of the Sun God. If you've ever experienced it, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And it is a wonderful release by 88 Films. Keep them coming, 88 Films. I would love to see more of these style films released with restorations on 4K Ultra HD. This was an absolutely superb 4K release. I just wanted to point out something that I talked about recently. If you notice that I'm kind of having a hard time struggling being as excited for releases, I'm really trying to do my best as I can here, but I've been really struggling the last month and a half with my health. As a lot of you know that have followed me for years on this YouTube channel, I have chronic nerve damage and trigeminal neuralgia, which is another form of basically deteriorative nerve damage that I deal with. It's extremely painful and it never goes away and I live with it. It's constant non-stop pain and it's one of those things that as my body gets more and more worn down where the pain escalates, it's hard for me to keep my enthusiasm, I'll say, going. It doesn't mean I don't love some of the releases I've been reviewing or enjoy some of these in this video. It's just it's hard for me to constantly give all of my energy in these videos and then I'm exhausted afterwards and completely spent after I film these to where literally I just go to sleep it's so bad. So it is one of those things to just be understanding I'm doing the best I can in each of these videos and providing you everything I possibly can. I always put my heart and my soul into every one of these videos I create. Just be understanding that sometimes I do struggle and that's just part of living with pain, it sucks. But I always try to have a good attitude and make these videos no matter what I'm dealing with. So now I do wanna share something else with all of you that I'm considering doing here. I have a ton of TV series releases from all over the world that are exclusive Blu-ray remastered TV series of shows, good TV shows, great TV shows, amazing TV shows that are never released in the US and UK and things like that. They're from all over the world. Now I'm considering continuing this video series but adding in some of those as well to do basically great hidden unknown and rare TV series on Blu-ray as a video series inside this video series to share those as well. It's hard to do reviews of all of those individually because maybe somebody doesn't know about one but they know about another so it kind of needs to be in these compilation videos that I'm planning on doing that in. Let me know in the comment section below how excited you'd be for that as well. If you'd be looking forward to finding out about all these hidden and unknown and rare TV series that you could also get on Blu-ray to own. There's a ton of them and a lot of exciting ones that I own. So it is one of those that if you're excited about that and you'd want to know about those as well, make sure to comment below and let me know about that as well. If you decide you're buying any of these from this video series, all of those exclusive links are posted in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Make sure if you're buying these to click on those links down there below. That helps to support the creation of this video. Remember, I can't continue to do this without all of you, my viewers and subscribers support. It's very important if you enjoy this content that I create here on my YouTube channel to join my Collectors VIP Club. As always, I hope all of you truly have a blessed day. I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.